Hey guys and girls, this is lesson 1.5 for pre-algebra. So take out your notebooks and we'll take some notes. Lesson 1.5 is about adding integers. So um, write down this title on your papers, adding integers. This first key concept is a really easy one. All it st states is that the sum of an integer and its opposite is zero. So negative one, plus one is zero. Very simple, okay? Now, there are three different ways to add integers. This first way is more of a visual representation. So if you are a visual learner, this you might really like this, who knows? Um, I'm gonna get my highlighter pen out. Now what it is, is they have these yellow boxes that represent positive numbers. The red boxes represent negative. So every time you see a positive number, you would put two positive yellow. And every time you see a negative, you'd put the red boxes are negative. So here's a quick check. I'll do A, and then you can try B and C. So A says, um, use tiles to find each sum. So I have four positive. So I'm going to do four positive. And then I have one negative box. So what you do is you add them together. And so I'm going to cross off one negative and one positive. And I'm left with three positives. So therefore, my answer is positive three. So push pause, try B and C, and then we'll come back. All right. So here is letter B. I have seven positive, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have three negative. So what you do is you cross off three here and three here because they cancel each other out. They equal zero, just like we just wrote down that key concept. Negative 3 plus positive 3 would equal 0. And I'm left with four positive boxes or minor circles. Therefore, my answer is positive 4. This next one, I have two red boxes plus another two red boxes. So I don't have any yellow and red that I can cancel out. So I have a total of four negative boxes, so my answer is negative 4. My next one is using a number line. This is um, the second way that you can add integers. What you do is you draw a number line. You always start at 0. This is a really important thing. Start at 0, so I'm going to start at 0, and it says on two plays a football team first loses 8 yards, so that's why they went back 8 yards, and then gains three yards. So then they go up three in the positive direction. This is the negative direction. This is the positive direction. And then you end at negative five, so negative five would be my answer. So try these three examples, and then we'll come back and go over them. All right, first I'm going to draw a number line. You always have to have zero in it, and then just make spaces on either side of zero. Now, I start at zero. I'm going to go positive two because that's my first number. So I'm going to go up two to here. And then I'm going to do negative six. So I'm going to go back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I end at negative four. Wherever you end, that is your answer. Here is another one. Make sure you have zero. Okay, first I'm going to start with going negative four. So I'm going to go back four. Then I'm going to go up nine. So I'm going to go up nine. And I end at positive five. Lastly, I'm going to draw my number line, start at zero, and 
and I start at 0, I go negative 5, and then I go negative 1 more, so my answer is negative 6. All right, the last way to do this is by using some rules. So write down this key concept. Push pause if you need to. Okay, what it is is the same sign. So if I have two numbers that have the same sign, what you do is a positive plus a positive equals a positive and a negative plus a negative equals a negative. If two numbers have different signs, then you, what you do is you subtract the numbers. You don't worry about their signs. You just subtract the numbers and then you keep the sign, keep the sign of the larger number. So here is an example. These both, negative 12 plus negative 31, have, are both negatives. So two negatives make a negative, so you just add the two numbers together to get negative 43. Now these are different. So 7 plus 18, what you do is you end up subtracting the two numbers to get 11 right here. But then you look, 7 and 18. 18 is the larger number and it's negative. So I keep the negative sign and it becomes negative 11. So try these three problems and then come back and we'll go over. Push pause. So two negatives, what I do is I add them together to get 38 and then I keep the negative sign because two negatives make a negative in addition. Now this is a 60 plus a negative 13. So what you do is you subtract those two numbers to get 47, and then I look. Is 60 larger or 13 larger? Well, 60 is larger, so I keep the sign of the bigger number, which is positive, so it's a positive 47. And then lastly, I have negative 125 plus 35, and those are separate, different signs. So I subtract them and I get 90. And then I look, is 125 larger than 35? Yes. So my answer is negative because I keep the sign of the larger number. That is it for your notes. So come to class prepared tomorrow. Thanks.